One of the really exciting bits of science in recent years is what neurologists have discovered about the brain and what is called brain plasticity. Brain plasticity is the learning that the brain can adapt itself. Originally, people thought that the brain was born with all the neurons it had, and basically as you live life, your neurons died, and so you lost capacity. We now know that that's not true, and that the brain is continually able to adapt and change as we get older. Uh, an interesting bit of research of people who had a stroke and they maybe couldn't be able to move their left arm, they, they found that often people showed them how to get around not having the use of the arm. But then they did began to do some work with helping them use their left arm for a long period of time, um, well over six weeks. But then eventually the brain rewired around the injured part of the brain and they got back the capacity to use the arm. So brain plasticity isn't a workaround so that you can fix up a problem. It is about rewiring the brain so you get your function back again. That's a really critical piece of news. The brain has uh, billions and billions of neurons and, and between the cells, each cell has more than 15,000 connections between the other cell and they're able to communicate with each other. Just to give you an image of kind of that might help you, have you ever been for a walk through long grass and you push your way through the grass and when you look back, you notice there's kind of a little bit of, you can see where I've come from. And when another person goes through, they reinforce that and people keep on going through the grass and eventually a path is created. And so when you look back, you can see the path. And so the next person that comes, they see the path and so they naturally walk that way. But if you want to create a new path, you've got to push off to the side and you've got to start that track again. And that's a little bit harder because you're not following the track that was there in the first place. You're going around. But as you keep on going around creating that new track, that old track begins to die and the new track is formed and eventually the new track becomes the firm track. And so with our habits, say for example, we've got a bad habit of getting really angry and, and screaming at somebody. Every time we do that, we're teaching the brain that that's how we respond. Something happens to us and we yell back and we reinforce that. But if we can stop, consider our emotions, think about our reaction, choose a new pathway. Now, the, the interesting thing is choosing that new pathway is interpreted by the brain as pain. So it's actually very hard to do that first time and that second time and that third time. But as you keep on redoing that pathway, eventually it becomes easier and easier and those neurons create a new pathway. That's what we're talking about, neuroplasticity. The brain is able to reform and so you're able to form a new habit. But recognise the brain will interpret that new habit as pain to start with. But as you keep on working it, it creates that new track. And so after a period of time, that new track becomes the normal track. And then you're able to move on to another part and rewire another part of your brain for another behaviour. So neuroplasticity is an exciting finding in neurology. It gives us all hope that we can create new pathways in our brains, new responses, new ways of doing things that we can get better about thinking about ourselves, about connecting to others, about the way that we respond emotionally and rationally to circumstances that happen in our life. But it requires us to make the effort of taking that new pathway and then reinforcing that until it becomes the new way of doing things.